We're back from Oslo, Norway. Oh, what a trip, huh? It was. We can't talk about the details. It was a secret sex mission, and all will be revealed this November. And we made television history. That's what the producer said. So, is this exciting? It is. You know, I'm nervous. I'm sitting here, and my heart's like, don't, don't, oh. don't. Because we were just talking about the body sex group. We're 11 days away. I'm Everything's right. fallen into place, though, and it's very exciting. So when this happens and you're nervous and you start going, I feel, ah, I feel like I'm alive. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely alive. Alive, alive, oh. Oof. So how is it to be 83 years old okay. and going on camera naked? I've got to clear this up. I have, to, I have a confession to make. I'm actually 82. Now... But, but I like how you're 83 and I'm 48. I'm, I'm entering my 83rd year. So, so if I'm entering my 83rd year, I would just like to have credit for it now instead of at the end. And how I feel about going nude on camera. Now, when I was 60, I had a problem with this. I said, I'm, I can't. I, no. and you're her, a good sport. You and, are. And she's doing this to model what you look like when you get older. That's a big deal. Now, there's no imagery in the culture. No, and what and 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 this is my this is my own personal struggle with my own body. It's old. It's not acceptable anymore. I'm no different than any other woman on the planet. You know, vanity, acceptability, uh, losing weight. It doesn't look right. This is too big. This is too that, and not really giving my body the kind of love that I would like to give it. An appreciation. Yeah, love and appreciate, and that's what I teach. <laughs> so we're putting it all out there. Is I guess what we're saying. Yes, yes. Now, should everyone be willing to do that? Because I have to say, I'm not really comfortable in front of a camera. I know you all don't believe that. It's, but I no, had to really not. work through it. I had to really work through it and do a sexual presentation of self. I think if it's everyone hard. stopped to think about it, they'd go exactly through what you went through. Mm -hmm. I do believe that there are some exhibitionists in the world that simply love it. And you, you have to beat them off with a baseball bat to keep them away from the camera. But most people, like us... Well, when it's your sexual self, it's different. It's very intimate. You're very vulnerable. You're putting yourself out there, and you're going to be judged. It's why people can't enjoy sex just with another person. <laughs> because I, you're going to think, my tits are too small, or my stomach is too big, or my butt's not big enough, or my eyes are crossed, or whatever. Okay. Yeah, the body sex group, and that's the whole point. And the, the thing is, is that each woman will get to make her own comment about how she feels about her body. And we're going to be interviewing these women throughout the whole process. And also, we, what everyone needs to know is that how I feel about my body at this moment is different than how I felt about it yesterday, is different than how I'm going to feel about it tomorrow. Got it? I love it. <laughs> so, soon, 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 you all will be able to join us in a body sex group. And that's maybe the challenge. Think outside the norms. You don't have to have your whole life dictated you. Sometimes when you make yourself vulnerable, you really learn a lot. It's actually when you learn the most. Okay, partner. Here we go. 11 days and counting. Woo! <laughs>